Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's up, guys? PJ's here. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, so there's a little uh, fun thing going on in the community right now. Hope everyone can join in. Let me put my tripod down. Just adjusting it. Um, of course, let me fix the lighting and everything. That's good, I guess. So, uh, the challenge for everybody is to... Whoa. You guys all good now? <laughs> um, the challenge is to uh, come up with your top five uh, fantasy cars. Top five fantasy cars. That's a pretty tough challenge for me. Um, my favorite casting is 83 Silverados. Um... I just don't collect many fantasy cars. But then I got to thinking about it, and uh, there's quite a few out there that I like. Um, so here's my top five that I kind of grabbed. Uh, I was, kinda, you know, it made me look at some of my cars that I had laying around in totes and stuff, and uh, realized and, and started to show more appreciation for, for some of these castings that I don't typically collect. Um, so. Big shout out to uh, Sick Diecast. Rick called me out and uh, nominated me. And I'll nominate three more uh, YouTubers at the end of this video. So let's get on with my top five. So um, I guess number five that I'm kind of growing fond of is this Rip Rod right here. That's just a pretty killer casting. Let's crack it open and take a look at it. It did. Whoops, there's my box. This year it came out in a treasure hunt. But it's just a cool little car. These colors look like a little bumblebee or something. Pretty cool. Look at them pipes on the back. Bah, bah, bah. Pretty cool. I like the rip rod. This one has a metal base on it. I think the whole casting is plastic. Um, interior, everything. But it's just a cool little roadster vehicle. Nice little roll cage in there. Pretty cool. The rip rod. Number four would have to be the bone shaker. This probably will be on everybody's top five um, fantasy cars. Justin, there's so many variations of the bone shaker. Um, I really like it. I've always liked the Bone Shaker. A couple of uh, Real Rider series that I like. Um, it's just a neat casting. I've seen so many customs done with this particular casting. Awesome casting. Not much to do with it as far as customizing. It's just awesome. A little skull on the front. That's cool. That's nice. So that's number four. Um, number three... We're going to go with uh, Carbonator. <laughs> if you guys don't know what the Carbonator's for, you're missing out. Let's go ahead and crack this one. This one's uh, Happy New Year 2015. I haven't been able to find the 2016. Um, I know, who was it that came across like two or three and just passed them all up? Richie Boy? Man, you should have grabbed them all. Uh Carbonator is awesome. What it is, just a bottle on the front right there with a seat and a steering wheel. But it's a bottle opener. Check that out. Pop a top. Uh, I also believe the front can be used on cans. Uh, but just a neat casting. You can make this into a keychain and carry it around with you everywhere you go. Anyone needs a bottle opener or you need a bottle opener, you're all set. And then everybody's like, dang, is that a Hot Wheel? Yeah, baby. That's a Hot Wheel. That's pretty cool. This one's 2014. I'll do a quick comparison real quick. I've been wanting to crack them open. 2014, 2015. Carbonator. Pretty cool. A little bit different. Uh, number 
two on my list is the Stage Fright. I had this piece when I was a kid. I remember playing with it. Just thought it was the coolest thing. Um, like a horse-drawn carriage on wheels. That is sick. Really, really cool. Big steering wheel. The steering wheel most of the time gets bent or ripped off. Um, one of my favorites. I do have two pretty good condition ones in my collection. Black walls. Um, just an awesome casting. If you had Hot Wheels back in the day, you remember the stage fright. <laughs> it's a cool casting. And then my all-time number one, only because I played with it so much when I was a kid, um, is the Grease Gremlin. This thing is cool. I do have one laying around here. Uh, hang on one second. I found it. I, I got this piece a, um, a couple of months ago at um, Trader's Village. Uh, got a really good price on it. And it is a Chase Classics Grease Gremlin. So, because Sick Diecast called me out for my top five fantasy castings, I'm going to go ahead and crack this piece. I've been wanting to crack it. And it's just awesome. Now I can enjoy it out of the package. Man, that thing is sick. Nice fat meats on it. That thing is shiny. No glass. Just a roadster, sand buggy, doom buggy. Black flame stripes. That is killer. Killer piece. So, Rick, thank you for calling me out and allowing me to uh, crack this piece right here. Um, just one that I've wanted to open and enjoy. Now I can roll it around and enjoy it. That thing is so sick. Here's a vintage black wall. Here's a new Chase. Classics Chase with Roll Riders. That is cool. Love the Grease Gremlin. Cool. That's cool. Thank you so much, Rick. Uh, nominate my four people, maybe five people. I'm going to cheat. Uh, also, first up, haven't seen him on YouTube in a while, so I'm going to call out James Shear, your top five fantasy castings. I'm um, also going to call out Antares King, Mike King. Get on here and show us your five favorite fantasy castings. Also, I want to call out Frank's Kids because he makes some awesome video, awesome videos. Um, top five favorite fantasy castings. Um, and then I'll also call out Tex Tanner, top five favorite fan fantasy castings. I can't even speak today. And last but not least, let's see if he watches my videos. We'll call out John Poochman. Pooch of Meta B. Get on here and tell us your five favorite fantasy castings. You guys have a great week. Peace.